What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another luxury home tour. My name is Darren Kriz and today we're going to give you a full tour of this brand new luxury home located in Corona del Mar. Corona del Mar, which means crown of the sea, is a seaside village located within Newport Beach in Orange County. It's about an hour south of Los Angeles and is known for its cliffside views, trendy shops, and amazing beaches. The modern contemporary home we're taking a look at today features six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, 7,709 square feet of interior space, and is currently priced at $19.1 million. And I also want to thank all the listing agents, Brian, Avi, and Kaz Luxury Homes for letting us tour their incredible listing. Let's check it out. So we are in a very quiet and exclusive neighborhood here in Newport Beach, Corona del Mar. And we're checking out this modern contemporary home. Taking a look at the exterior, we have a lot of limestone finishes on the outside, and you're gonna see the same limestone finishes on the flooring as we go inside as well. I love all the rock patterns and the landscaping out here to both sides of me currently. On the right side of the home is the two car modern garage door with tinted black sleek finishes. And this home honestly has some of the most insane views that you'll ever see of Newport Beach, Balboa Island, the Pacific Ocean. So stay tuned for that. But as we walk up one step, you see the floors are made of limestone as I spoke about earlier. And we arrive to this massive windowed pivot door. And as we walk through this, we are not quite inside the home just yet. We arrive to this bridge space with an open pocket above us so you can still see the sky and get some sunlight in here. We have translucent lights on the floor so you can imagine how incredible that looks at night. Just a quick sneak peek down there to the turf area, that pathway that leads you to the backyard, but let's just go inside. As we enter inside through this massive oak wood pivot door, just look at how huge this is. Now that is not something light as you enter in your own home. But before we go out into the open space, the kitchen, the dining area, and show you the views, we're gonna start in this grand entrance. We have vaulted ceilings above, recessed lighting, and a modern light fixture right in the center of it. To my left is the staircase with a black tinted railing that leads us down to the bottom level where four bedrooms are and the entertainment space and you see a skylight right above the staircase as well. But before we go down there, we're gonna first take a turn this way into the first bedroom. Now this bedroom is currently staged as an office and you can see that all of the furnishings are incredible in here. It's staged very well in my opinion. Over on the right side, you have windows on two different walls looking out into that bridge in the front, your front street. And you can also peek down into that courtyard below that I mentioned a little earlier. So this is just a great office space overall. You can see a lot through two different sides of your room. You're not very enclosed. There's also built-in speakers above, pretty high ceilings as well, and it's en suite, so let's check out this bathroom. The first bathroom we're taking a look at in this house, you can start to my right with the floating vanity. We have some space down there below to store any towels you might need, dark wood drawers as well. The countertops are made of a Calce Bianco porcelain finish, as well as the integrated sink down there. LED lights bordering this large mirror above the sink. Throughout is mocha creme Portuguese limestone finishes on the flooring, over on the shower bench on the side, and in the shower walls. There's a black rain shower head on this wall, as well as a smaller handheld one down there below. And of course the toilet is tucked back behind this door. Over in this corner, there is some built-in shelf space for even more towels, toiletries, whatever you might need in this bathroom right outside your office. But let's get out of this bathroom, take a turn past the front door again and show you the next room. Out of the office and past the massive front door again, we're gonna walk this way. You have a little bit of a mudroom space potentially with a large mirror and let's check this out. You have a five car garage with tandem parking. You can really fit a lot of luxury vehicles in here. High ceilings, plenty of lights, and you have that sleek black tinted modern garage door as I said in the exterior of the home. There's also a door that leads to the side yard that takes you down into the backyard where the pool is. But let's head out of this garage and make a left. This door right next to the garage is your powder room. 
Taking a look at the sink in here, it's of Calcutta gold marble. Same with the integrated sink down there, and we have these matte black fixtures up on this linear black tinted mirror. Up on the backsplash, you have hand scraped limestone. A modern light fixture to the right side of your mirror in the center. Toilet tucked in the back. And let's walk out of this powder room and keep moving. So the staircase is directly across from the elevator that's gonna take us down to the lower level. Now myself and Raul are gonna take it later on in the video after we show you guys the balcony and the views. But first to my right is your formal dining room with sleek, modern, gold rod light fixtures hanging above the dining table. And here's something very unique about this table. It actually expands with a click of a button. So if you're having more guests over and you wanna make the table a little bit larger, you can easily do it with a click of a button. Now that's something very unique. I do love this large mirror on this side in a very modern finish. Over in the corner, a couple more light fixtures and you can have a nice piece of artwork displayed in the center. Lots of space in this formal dining room, vaulted ceilings above, recessed lighting, built-in speakers, and right next to the dining area is your built-in wine cellar. So the wine cellar is glass enclosed. It is see-through all the way from the dining room so you can still look at the views while you're enjoying a nice meal. And you have wine bottles stocked on three different sides. Shout out to Kaz Luxury Homes. They have all those wine bottles branded as well. Also wanted to give a shout out to the architect, Brian Jeanette. Just an incredible design overall. But right across from the wine cellar, we've got your luxury kitchen. So here in your luxury kitchen, we have Calcutta gold marble throughout its entirety here on this center island as well on the waterfall edge. Up on the backsplash, we will see in a bit, but I do love this extended sleek black breakfast bar. It doesn't get more luxurious and more modern than this. Check it out. Starting over on this side, we have some more gold Calcutta marble. Six burner gas stove, dual wolf oven. The backsplash is also Calcutta marble. And look at this hood vent above, cladded with some gold material right there. And then a matte black finish as well. To both sides, we have windowed cabinetry with dark wood borders, recessed lighting there in the back. Now that is some of the most unique, but honestly, maybe my favorite floating cabinetry in a kitchen we've ever seen. Just zoom in on that for a second. All the floating shelves are glass as well. Up on this side, we have actually is the fridge and your freezer is not right next to it. It is on the opposite end. We first have your Wolf microwave, espresso machine, and then a toaster oven. And then we have your freezer. Very separate. To the left of the freezer, we have more pantry space as we saw in the cabinetry with the LED lighting behind the wood, floating glass shelves. And we have more kitchen to show you on the opposite side. Now here's your butler's kitchen with two entrances, one on either side of the center of your kitchen with two Wolf ovens. One is right here, one's on the opposite end. Sleek white modern finishes throughout. We have Calce Italian countertops in front of me. The same ones we saw in that first bathroom inside the office, floating wood shelves above. And here's your second Wolf oven, and then you have an exit. So it doesn't feel very enclosed in that space. You can enter through one way and exit out the other, but let's check this out right here. Right next to your kitchen, open concept living, lots of natural sunlight coming in as it's opened up. This is just a courtyard area up here on your main level. To my left is a glass railing, and you can look down into the other courtyard, which is on the level below us. Three more translucent lights on the floors. Same one that we saw out on that bridge right as we entered the home. Built-in Sedonia Lynx barbecue grill. More tinted railings above to keep it private in this space. And I just really like this area overall. I can see it as a great space to entertain people right outside of the kitchen and just hang out in the outdoors instead of going out to the balcony that we're gonna see in a bit. Now, as you see, there's sliding glass doors on two sides, one from the kitchen, one flowing into the living room. So now here we are, open concept living. We have these sliders as well opened up to the balcony, just the views. Oh my goodness, absolutely incredible. But first we gotta talk about the living room. 
So we've got a gas fireplace. Surrounding that, you have Napoleon Luxuria 74 finishes, and then your flat screen TV right above that. Lots of storage space where you can put any sculptures you want to both sides of your fireplace. L-shaped couch in the center above, recessed lighting, built-in speakers, LED light strips on those vaulted ceilings. But enough of this living room, let's just check out the view. So here on this absolutely massive balcony, we have the same limestone tile throughout the floors, glass railings, and just take a look. You see Balboa Island, Newport Beach, the Newport Harbor, the Pacific Ocean. You just have everything you really need out here. And that beautiful backyard down there below us with our pool and spa, the fire pit. We're not out there just yet. I just love the design of this balcony. There's so much space and plenty of potential for more lounge seating. You can see the shape right now. It's just not a normal rectangle shape that you'll see in most of these balconies. It's actually cornered out right here to give it more of the design. I love that. It's a very nice touch that the architect gave it. And from this point of the balcony, we're actually just above the pool. I don't recommend it, but you could probably jump right into that pool from this angle. One more thing I wanted to point out out here, there is a bar table where you could have some bar seating that can serve you from the bar inside. Now, I just said bar a lot, but let's go inside and check it out. So here is your bar. You have a very modern, sleek black bar table. The same one we saw over in the breakfast bar in the kitchen. Three pendant modern light fixtures hanging above the bar table. With those Italian Bianco countertops, the integrated sink, flat screen TV above, LED light strips over on the left side of this bar. Lots of floating shelf space for any of your glasses, your high-end wine bottles, your liquor, whatever you might want over in your bar. And I think this is a perfect placement in this bar area. As I said, you can serve people outdoors on the balcony overlooking the views. You can serve them inside here right across from your living room. And you have a view of the entire house with this open concept floor plan. I just think it's perfect. We've got one more bedroom to check out up here on this top level, and it's actually the master suite and it's right here. Through those double doors, this is your master bedroom on your main level. It connects to the balcony we were just on. You can see the sliders right here. We're not gonna go back out there, but you just get some of the most unreal views that you'll ever see right now. The sun is just glistening on the water. You honestly do not want to look anywhere else, but right at that water right there. It's incredible. But checking out on this side, gas fireplace, flat screen TV above, same vaulted ceilings we've seen, built-in speakers, recessed lighting, LED light strips, just everything you need, oversized windows, bringing in some sunlight. Well, let's walk this way. Wow, now this is, this is a one-of-a-kind closet. As soon as you look this direction in the closet, I'm sure you're just thinking, how many shoes can I put up right there? I know Raul's thinking that. On the ceiling, lots of LED light strips to make it very bright and luxurious. You have recessed lighting. I love the finishes in here. You can also customize it to your liking. Over on this side, you have a large mirror to watch yourself change. And that's it in this closet, but let's show you the bathroom. Here in the master bath, you have dual vanities. Again, Calce Bianco porcelain countertops, integrated sink, oversized mirrors on both sides. I do like the design of this bathroom overall. You don't have both vanities next to each other or across from each other. They're on two separate walls. And here's your freestanding deep soaking tub. I love the black finish on the outside of it. And this is where your faucet is. It's kind of rare that your faucet's on this side. Normally you'd see it over there, but we do have a nice limestone wall with LED lights bordering it. Built-in speakers above. I like the design of the ceiling as well and those vaulted ceilings. You have a pocket door that slides for where your toilet room is. Gives you some privacy in there. And so we have St. Croix Portuguese limestone here in the shower all throughout. Brush limestone on the walls. Over on this side is your shower bench, limestone on the floor, just limestone everywhere on the ceilings. And here is your matte black shower head. Some recessed lights here in the shower. Plenty of space to just move around in here, honestly. Two more shower heads up on the walls and then a handheld one over in the left corner. 
All right, now that was everything up here on this main level of this home, but we're gonna have to go downstairs and check out the lower level because that level is incredible. You have the backyard out there too, the pool. So me and Raul are about to take the elevator and go down. Here we are at the elevator, now let's do it. Come on in. And you see there's a mirror on the elevator on the back side. We're gonna, gonna close this door now and go down to level one. And while we go down, Raul, let me ask you, what was your favorite part about that main level so far? What do you think? Man, there's so many, so many things that I love about it. I love the open floor plan. I love the bar areas that they had set up. The living space was amazing. The entrance was cool. Everything I loved, it, honestly. Yeah, it's a really nice home, something unique. We don't see this too often. And we're here in Orange County. It's a pretty cool house. What do you guys think so far? Let us know and hit the like button if you haven't yet. But here we are on the entertainment level, the lower level. What a great elevator ride. If you like that main level, you're going to love this bottom level, the entertainment space. Now directly across from the elevator, we have our staircase with the black tinted railings going up to that main level. You have the LED lights on every single step, giving it a nice modern touch. Lots of space underneath the stairs. You can maybe even put a seat to do some reading or just hanging out right there. But there's lots of hangout spots, especially what we're gonna show you in a bit, but not just yet. We have one room right next to the stairs. So it's currently unstaged, but there are high vaulted ceilings, recessed lights, built-in speakers, and the floors changed from limestone to wood in this bedroom. There are two windows that look out into that courtyard that we're gonna check out right after this room. Walking this way, you have closets to both sides of me for plenty of storage, and here is your bathroom. Same finishes in this bathroom that we saw in all the other ones in your floating vanity with some space below for towels, and there is a shower, shower head, handheld shower head, and toilet tucked back behind the door. Pretty much the same as what we've seen, so let's keep moving, because there's a lot more. Just outside this room, we have these sliders open. Let's walk outside. Oh man, now this is something very nice. We have the fire pit turned on right now. It's super warm. I could just hang out here all day. Now originally I thought this was a waterfall, but it's not. It's just a nice feature above the fire pit. Gives it a nice touch out here in my opinion. And just check it out. We have this pathway that looks super luxurious with turf to my left, landscaping, and then even more nice greenery up on that wall. It takes a turn to the right, and it just heads all the way to the backyard and the pool that we'll show you at the end of this video, so stick around for that. You can look up, you see that bridge as you first enter, and as you keep looking up, you see those translucent lights right above me. But let's head back inside. And just back inside, this is the door that leads you into your luxurious laundry room. We don't have to check that out for too long because we have something special right next to it. And here we are. This is your home movie theater with platform seating. You can take a step down. You've got blue lighting on the back side of that massive projector screen. Same thing above with more blue light features. Just an extremely incredible movie theater overall. I love this space, super cozy. The acoustics are incredible in here. You can only tell if you're in here like me and Raul, but, but this is awesome. I'm sure you can get the full experience if you guys come visit this house. After relaxing in your movie theater, if you wanna work up a sweat now after you're done sitting around, past the elevator, we make a turn right and you've got a home gym. Now one thing really special about this home gym is your built-in sauna to my right. Now look at that. You've got glass doors and then just a full sauna in there, absolutely incredible. Definitely a nice touch in there if you wanna hang out in the sauna before or after your workout. Yoga mats, a treadmill, you can really put anything you want in here, a Peloton bike. Built-in speakers again, so you don't even need to put headphones in, you can just blast some music in your own private gym. Flat screen TV to my left, and of course, massive oversized mirrors. That's what you need in your gym, right? But this is it, it's everything you want. You go from your movie to your gym, you don't ever have to leave your house. 
as we keep moving. There's just plenty of space here. Limestone floors, again, a bench to my left where you can just hang out. You can put some artwork up on these gallery walls, vaulted ceilings, recessed lighting, and let's go in this bedroom. Now this bedroom again has high ceilings and something special about this one is it's pretty symmetrical to the floor above, but this would be the kitchen area because we have sliders that open out to a courtyard. I'm just gonna open that slightly now, but we're not gonna go out there just yet. This bedroom is en suite, so we gotta take a look at the bathroom first. Now you can see that the vanity is the same as all the other ones we've seen. You look in the shower, the tile's a little bit different in there, but it is a large shower. And you've got a different shower bench. It's more of a square shape over in this corner, but still enough room to hang out and have a seat in your shower. You can see again, the handheld shower head and another one on your wall. Everything you need in your bathroom, oversized mirror, LED lights bordering that. Right across from this bathroom, you have a walk-in closet through that private door. For some more storage in this guest bedroom, but let's just walk out to the courtyard. Now you can really do anything you want with this courtyard, maybe put a pool table, although they do have one staged inside the house that we're gonna check out, but above those translucent lights again, it would look incredible at night here in this space. You can put some lounge seats, some chairs, another fire pit potentially. And this also gives you access to the back as well as to that courtyard that we checked out earlier over in the front of the home. But just oversized windows everywhere on three different walls. So this, this really just feels like you're inside the home even though you're outdoors. Now this outdoor area does flow from your bedroom to the living space, but we're gonna walk through the bedroom first because we still have to check out some things on this side. Now here's your pool table entertainment area bar, but we gotta take a turn down this hall. You can see motion sensor lights right away. This is where your HVAC is located. And as we keep walking this way, we have a powder room. More hand scraped limestone up on the backsplash, a modern black mirror with lights directly behind it. Same vanities, same countertops that we've been seeing, but plenty of space in this powder room with your toilet right next to the vanity, of course. But right next to that is another bedroom. Currently unstaged again, but one detail I like about this bedroom is that you have the built-in speakers slanted at an angle on the right side of this wall. It's a little bit unique from the other ones that we've seen. You've got a full walk-in closet directly in front of me with motion sensored lights, and there is a bathroom in this room, of course. Same finishes in this bathroom, but I think there is a little bit more countertop space than in some of the other countertops we have seen throughout a large shower on the left side, toilet on the right side, everything you need in here. And let's get out of this room. Walking past the pool table, now this is a great space for entertainment directly in between your bar, your living room, the courtyard with those oversized windows. You have recessed lighting, the ceiling, built-in speakers throughout this entertainment area. Now let's check out this bar. It's very similar to the bar directly above us. You can serve people down here, upstairs, just so many areas to choose from. And I do love the modern black bar tables that we've seen throughout this home. Breakfast bar, upstairs bar, downstairs bar. Just, you can either serve people on one side or the other, or on the outdoors, we have these windows opened up. You can look out to the back. You can see the extended countertops where you can put more bar seating so people can be in the pool, come right out and be served up a nice drink. More Calce Bianco porcelain countertops with your sink integrated. Lots of floating shelf space, flash screen TV, lights bordering around those wood features that you see. You also have a built-in mini fridge down here below and a built-in freezer. Really everything you need in your full wet bar. But now let's walk this way before we go to the living room and the backyard. So this room would be considered your junior master suite. You can see high vaulted ceilings once again, oversized windows in your sliding doors leading out to that backyard. This honestly might be my favorite room in the house. Almost better than the master because you do have access to the backyard. This design of the staging is incredible right here. I love this. I would make this my library, a bookshelf. Shout out Eco Design. That's a nice feature. But let's take a look this way. Right here is a full walk-in closet. You can really customize it however you want, put whatever shelves or cabinets you'd like in your closet. And directly in front of this is the bathroom. 
The same finishes throughout this bathroom, so we don't need to go over that again, but you have this vanity to my left, more space down below, oversized mirror, recessed lighting, full shower with that same smaller square shower bench that we saw in the previous bathroom we walked into. But now let's finally do it. Let's get out of here. And oh, we gotta check out the living room first, then we're gonna go to the backyard. I do love this living room space as you have access to that courtyard down here and the backyard. Lots of room as we look at this fireplace. Surrounded by St. Croix Portuguese hand scraped limestone throughout it, giving it an incredible touch. So much limestone throughout the house. I'm sure you've been seeing flat screen TV above. And as I said already, in every single room, built-in speakers, vaulted ceilings, but let's just head out to the backyard. Now, it truly just does not get much better than this. It's just a perfect day, not a cloud in the sky, of course, because we're shooting a video. They just know when we're shooting. But we're looking out into the Newport Harbor, the Pacific Ocean. You can just see everything from here. Unobstructed views. I'm just gonna take a minute to just enjoy this. So this is also all real grass down here below us in the backyard. Over here we have yet another Sedonia Lynx barbecue grill, lots of countertop space, just another bar in your house, just plenty of bars throughout this entire home. And just take a look. You have this view of the incredible pool. Now the finish of these countertops are absolute black granite material. So let's walk over to the pool. Fujiwa Eros tile around the pool. Now that's something that you don't hear every day. Just a massive swimmer's pool. You have your spa over in the corner. And I like this pool because there are a couple seats that you can have in your pool so you can get your feet wet while still enjoying the views. And there are water features that we will have turned on in the B-roll that you'll see right now. Spa over in the corner and then these rock features between separate the pool from this area where your fire pit is. Now I love this fire pit area. It's very unique. It's shaped like a bathtub almost. And we have this covered awning above us. This is a great space to just spend some time by your fire pit, by your pool. You get the cool pool and then the warm fire pit with these views of California at its finest. There's also a path with more limestone, of course, surrounded by rock features, real grass. And then to my left is a staircase that takes you all the way to the garage, the front yard, if you don't wanna use the elevator or go back inside the house at all. And as we walk, this covered patio is just laced with built-in heaters above me, recessed lighting. And to my right is that extended bar that we showed you that you can be served up from the inside. Well guys, we just gave you a full home tour in this incredible brand new home in Corona Del Mar. We are now in the backyard facing the Newport Harbor, the Pacific Ocean, the pool, what's not to love, but Raul, what did you love about this one? Man, I knew this was coming and I knew it was gonna be a hard decision to make. First of all, absolutely amazing property, stunning views, but I have to say, I think the second level, the bottom level has to be the one that stuck out to me the most. We have those outdoor covered uh, patio areas as well. We have that open living space as well. And just the backyard, amazing backyard with amazing views overall and amazing property. Glad we got to show you guys this one today. Yeah, I completely agree with Raul. There's so many outdoor spaces in this home. You have those two outdoor courtyard areas on both levels. And I like the space toward the front of the house where the fire pit is, as well as this backyard and the views. What's not to love? Some of the best views that you will ever see. I also do like all of the bar areas in this house, one on every level. And then this extended bar, which we're currently at now. But let us know in the comments down below what you like like the best of this house, we want to know. If you made it to the end of the video, please hit the like button down below. We really appreciate it. It completely helps out our channel tremendously. Just take a look at this masterpiece above. I hope you guys liked it as much as we did. I also wanted to thank everyone involved making this happen, the listing agents, the architect, and the developer of this property. Just take a look at those views. Also hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. We're currently posting two of these a week, so stay tuned for more, and we'll see you on the next one.